What's up guys? Try here again. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys the hand signals from beach volleyball. I've been playing for years and I, I always think that people understand what we're doing with our hands but after like 10 years of watching me play, even my parents are asking me to this day what these hand signals are. So I'm going to tell you what they are right now. All right, the first signal, most simple basic, is one, right? My right hand is going to be assigning this call, this one, to the guy on this side of the court, right? And this, whatever number this is, is going to be assigning a call to that, the guy on that side of the court. I'm holding it behind my back so they don't see the call and know what I'm going to do on defense. I'm trying to tell my partner what, where I'm going to be, what part of the court I'm going to take so that we can cover the entire court and, and we don't overlap. That's the most important thing. We never want to be taking the same call, right? So if I say I'm taking down the line, I don't want my partner to be covering the line. I want him to be covering the other part of the court. Another thing I, that I think is really important for you to understand is that the hands are separate. They have nothing to do with each other. This hand is for one player, this hand is for the other player on that side of the court, right? So these are two separate assignments. I can hold up any number here and call. This guy is staying a one, and this guy could be a five, or a ball, or a two, a four, a three. They're completely separate from each other. They have nothing to do with each other. So the first call is the one. If I'm calling one, I'm blocking down that player's line, right? So this means I'm blocking down that player's line, so my defender then has to think the opposite. If I'm blocking one, that means my defender is defending two. Two is angle. So if I'm blocking angle, I'm blocking them hitting across the court. So if they're on the right side, they're hitting it across their body towards the left, right? across the court. If it's one, it's down their line, which is the line that goes long ways down the court. A three. So a three is where I'm blocking one again, I'm blocking down the line, but I'm pretending like I'm blocking two first. So I'm setting up in the angle and I'm diving back to the line. So that's something that we're doing. We're playing a little cat and mouse with the, the offense, right? The guy hitting. We want him to look, it to look like he can hit down the line or he can shoot angle over me, right? But if he shoots over me, my defender is going to take off and dig it. And if he hits down the line, I'm going to go last second and dive in and try to block it. So it's a little cat and mouse. A four is the opposite of that. A four is where I'm staying in the line, staying in the line. I look like I'm going to be blocking line. And then last second, I dive into the angle. My defender's staying in the angle, staying in the angle, and last second, running to the line. Again, it's just cat and mouse. We're trying to trick them into shooting the ball to us or hitting the ball into the block. All right, so the last call that I'm going to give you today is ball. This is a little bit more of an advanced call because what you're doing is you're watching. As a blocker, you're following the ball, and you're trying to take the hard driven for the most part. You're reading. So you're trusting your eyes, trusting what you see, and you're basically trying to block whatever they do. Uh, you, don't, you can't block the whole court. So generally, as a blocker, you want to take the hit. If the ball dies inside, you got to know that. So if I'm right-handed and it dies inside of me, it's going to be really hard for me to come back to the line. So if I'm blocking ball, I'm not going to stay on that line. I'm going to go into the angle and try to take their hard-driven. Wherever you think that they can hit a hard-driven ball, you're taking that. And then the defender's doing the opposite, right? The defender's waiting for the shot, being really light on their toes, staying almost right behind the, the blocker, and waiting, and reading, and seeing, and reacting to what they do. But you're not, as a defender, your assignment isn't to dig the hard driven, it's more to get the shot. All right, so right here, we're gonna show you the lineups of defending against a right side hitter. Right here, position number one. Blocker in the line, defender in the angle. Here's position number two, blocker in the angle, defender in the line. Here's position number three, blocker in the angle, defender in the line, but as they hit it, the blocker dives to the line and defender runs to the angle. It's a good old show and take. Here's position number four, blockers in the line, defenders in the angle, 
It looks like we're defending a one call, but last second we're doing a show and take, so blocker's gonna dive angle and defender's gonna run to the line. And then lastly is the ball call, where the defender's gonna stay a little bit more behind the block and the defender is going to be reading for the shot and the blocker is going to be a little bit more inside seeing where the set goes and trying to block the hit whether it's line or angle all right so those are the fundamentals of blocking calls one two three four and ball uh, there are even more that you can do but we'll get to those later in another video shoots <laughs> 